Welcome back to uh, Tutorial Day. Today we are talking about the camper. I'm sorry if you're here for business tips and mindset stuff and how to do shit uh, that's not technical. I'm sorry, but I have a couple of music producer followers who are pretty interested in me explaining technical stuff. Um, I'm not doing too much of these, but here we go. Today we are talking about this cable and what it has to do with our camper unit. So this is a coaxial cable. We're using this for the SPDIF function of the camper and I'm talking about how I reamp guitars with SPDIF. So SPDIF stands for Sony Philips Digital Interface Format as well as Sony Philips Digital Interconnect Format. Uh, but most people just say Sony Philips Digital Interface, which is known as SPDIF. So as soon as you are connected your ins and outs of the coaxial cable, we can start. So what, is a co co what does a coaxial cable do? What's the difference between this and an XLR cable? So um, we are transferring data, we're transferring audio data, 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 um, digitally, which is way faster when you're working in a digital audio workstation and your amp unit is digital and if your interface can receive digital information. So a coaxial cable can actually carry two lines of audio, two streams of information. So you could send stereo information with just one cable. Um, so the tip and the ring both carry audio, which is very important that you are spending money on those. That if you are going digital, please buy good cables. I spent 15 bucks, 30 bucks for two of those, and they are pretty short. They are perfect for my rack. And it just connects the focus right with my camper. So as soon as I've done that, I'm not getting too much into which sounds better, what does this, what does that, is that sounding better? I'm all about effectiveness, efficiency, and speed. We can jump into the digital audio workstation. Okay, so as soon as you have install, installed your SPDIF cable with the ins and outs and the ins and outs of your devices, there are a couple of things we have to take care of. So a lot of people are complaining about clicks and pops in their Kemper SPDIF reamps. Um, first step would be to choose the sync source in your interface configuration as SPDIF. So the camper decides the sample rate. One thing to take care of is that your sample rate has to be 44.1 kilohertz if you want to use the SPDIF reamping feature or the SPDIF output of the camper because that's just the way it is. Um, maybe your interface is different but for Focusrite Pro 24 Sapphire Pro 24, you have to let the camper handle the sync source. And I found out that if you go to settings and choose the AC3 mode, it works a lot better and the Firewire driver la latency should be kept to short, especially when you track. So we have this part of the process checked out, checked, checkbox checked. And we are going to look over here, the SPDIF output and one and two. So the SPDIF output is the cable that's going from your interface to your camper. And you have to look into your digital audio workstation, what outputs are in use right now. So for me, it's one through six, and then I have one and two SPDIF left, right. But in 
the translation to my interface, it's just one through eight. So I go to the outputs and DAW and I have one through eight. Um, everything is named differently for my mixing, reamping, editing suite um, situation here. I didn't have to rename everything. I can remember uh, the three outs and inputs I need for everything I'm doing. So for me, it's DAW6. And here I have my little DI track. And the output of this is going to be line six. Um, a lot of stuff in audio is named completely different if it's manufactured by a different company. Everyone thinks they should name their stuff completely different. So it's very chaotic for beginners, especially uh, when you're in the game a little bit, you just deal with it that everything has a different name. So I'm going with line six. And as soon as you hit play, nothing happens. And why is that? If we are going to our profiling amplifier, we have to use the input knob. And then we have an input source. So the camper has a variety of inputs. And we're going to turn the wheel until we hit the aspirative input reamp. And if you feel like your signal is a little bit unpresent or you don't like it too much, you can play with the reamp sense. And as you hear, it adds a little bit more or less definition to the whole signal. I keep this at zero because this is the uh, eye from my own guitar and I know that it just works very well with, uh, with zero dB. And you should do that, if you have a problem with your tone, you should do that before playing with all the different knobs. So and now you can go ahead and tweak your reamping signal. If you are getting a weird signal out of the camper, you can as well go to the output section and look for the SPDIF output. And I have JIT and master left. So in audio, everything, the first thing is always a left. So left is the primary power in audio. So JIT always means DI, dry signal, the direct signal that's going in through here. And after the dash, you have master left. So I'm sending a mono signal back to my DAW, to back through my interface. And this is uh, master left. You could as well, you make everything stereo. So you have master left and master right. But this way you can utilize the two lines of the SPDIF for two different signals. And that's why reamping with it is so cool. And we are going to reamp this real quick. Um, just hit record, choose your SPDIF input from the right. So we have set master left to the right output. I know it's a little bit, a little bit confusing if you've never done it. So SPDIF right and then we can just go ahead and press record so yeah this is it i hope you learned something from this i never planned on doing any sort of audio engineering audio education audio tutorials on this channel but somehow people requested thank you very much for the request uh, keep the suggestions coming and uh, ask me anything about audio engineering if you want. So have a great sa Saturday.